All right, hello everyone. The first video is about the unit one, and unit one is about solving differential equation. Now, before going to the differential equation, I just want to remind all of you about the derivative. We already know what is a derivative. Now, there are two types of derivative. One is called the ordinary derivative, and the other is called the partial derivative. So in an ordinary derivative, we can write in this way. You have a function y, and you are differentiating with respect to x. This is an ordinary derivative. But in a partial derivative, you can write like del y by del of x. So this is how we write ordinary derivative and partial derivative. So we know that in an ordinary derivative, we always have one independent variable. But in a partial derivative, we can have more than one independent variable. So in other case, you can also have a function like del u squared and del x and del y. So in this case, you are having two independent variables, x and y. But here we have only one independent variable, that is x. Now, if I differentiate this function with respect to x for the second time, then I will get here d squared y by dx squared. And if I differentiate it one more time, I will get it d cube y by dx cube. So in this case, the order of this derivative is 1. And the order of this derivative is 2. And the order of this derivative is 3. And it will keep on going like that. So the more we differentiate the function, the order will increase. Now, when we talk about the differential equation, we already know other type of ordinary equation where we have the linear equation x plus y is equal to 7. So this is a linear equation in two variables, x and y. And we have, and we know this quadratic equation. Just say 0. But when we talk about differential equation, differential equations are a little different from this ordinary equation. So in a differential equation, you will have the derivative within the equation. So I'll give you one example of a differential equation. So if I write here dy by dx, and here is equal to 1 plus x squared or 1 minus y squared. So this is an example of a differential equation. This is also an equation, but here you have the derivative dy by dx. So in any equation, if you have a derivative, then it can be called as a differential equation. Another example of a differential equation can be this one. d squared y, this is a second order different derivative, and this is the first order derivative minus of 8y is equal to 0. So this is also an example of a differential equation. So in a differential equation, we can have one derivative, or we can have more than one derivative. So in this case, we are having two derivatives. This is one derivative. This is another derivative. So in a differential equation, you can have more than one derivative or you can have only one derivative also. Now, when we talk about a differential equation, differential equation, they are of two types. One is called the ordinary differential equation and the other is called the partial differential equation. So as I've said, when we talk about derivative, we are having ordinary derivative and partial derivative. So in the same way, when we talk about a differential equation, we can have ordinary differential equation or partial differential equation. So in an ordinary differential equation, you will have an ordinary derivative. Now, in a partial differential equation, we will have a partial derivative. So I'll give you one example. In this case, you can text this two above example. Both of them, they are, we are using the ordinary differential equation. So we can say that these two are ordinary differential equation. So I'll give you, I'll just write it in this way. dy by dx is equal to 1 plus x squared, 1 minus y squared. So this is an example of an ordinary differential equation. How do you know that this is an ordinary differential equation? Why? Because we are using an ordinary derivative. But for a partial derivative, I'll give you one example. Del square of u and here you have del of x del y plus del u 
and just hit del x plus here y is equal to zero. So this is an example of a partial differential equation. So in a partial differential equation, you will have this partial derivative c. All the derivative that we are having in this equation, all of them they are partial derivative. So this type of equation I'll call partial differential equation. So I believe we will be able to differentiate between an ordinary differential equation and a partial differential equation. Okay, now, when we talk about differential equation, there are two things that we need to know. First is called the order, and the second is called the degree of a differential equation. So when we talk about what is an order then? So I'll give you one example. So if I write here d square y and here dx square uh, is minus 2 of uh, dy by dx and 3 minus of 8y is equal to 0. Now this is a differential equation. This is an ordinary, this is an ordinary differential equation. Why? Because we have the ordinary derivative here. Now, if you have been asked, what is the order of this differential equation? So how do you find it? In order to find the order of the differential equation, first, we need to find out how many derivatives are there in the equation. So in this equation, there are two derivatives. This is one derivative, and this is another derivative. And you know that this derivative, the order is 2. Look here. Why? Because we are differentiating y with respect to x two times. And this is another derivative. But in this case, we have the function y, which is been differentiated only once with respect to x. So this is the derivative of order 1. So to know the order of this differential equation, you need to find out the highest order. So in this case, 2 is the highest order. So the order of this differential equation is 2. Why? Because 2 is the highest order here. Now, when we talk about the degree, it simply talks about the power of the highest order. So we know that in this equation, the order is 2. So this is uh, this derivative is the highest order and the power of this derivative that is here in this case it will be 1 so the degree of this differential equation is 1 so I, I believe we all are clear with what is the order and degree so do not be confused in this differential equation uh, for this derivative the degree is 3 but we know that when we talk about the degree of a differential equation, we are not taking the power of the lowest order. We are taking the power of the highest order. So in this case, the highest order is 2. So the power is 1. And let us take one more example to clarify our doubts. If I have 1 plus ty by dx, here 2 and power is 3, and it's equal to t square y and tx square and whole square. So this is another differential equation. This is also an ordinary differential equation. Why? Because we have the ordinary derivative. So in this case, we are having two derivatives. This is one derivative and this is another derivative. So this is a first order derivative and this is a second order derivative. So we know that the order of this equation, of this differential equation is 2. Why? Because the greatest is 2. Now, what will be the degree? What will be the degree of this differential equation? So as I've told you, when we talk about the degree, we are talking about the power of the highest derivative. So here, 2 is the highest derivative. So what is the power of this one? The power is 2. So in this case, the degree of this differential equation is 2. So when we are finding out the degree, we should not be confused with the lowest order because we are not interested on the lowest uh, order derivative. Because when we talk about the degree of a differential equation, we are talking about the degree of the highest derivative. Okay?